Are you trying to launch Faceit or play a game like CS2 or Valorant and getting the error message, your PC requires the following settings to be enabled? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to fix this Faceit anti-cheat error step by step so you can start playing without any issues. So make sure to watch till the end and follow each step carefully. This error mostly appears because Secure Boot or TPM 2.0 is disabled in your BIOS. These two settings are required for Faceit's anti-cheat to verify your PC security status. Here's how to enable them. Restart your PC and press the BIOS key, usually F2 or F10, while booting. Once inside BIOS, go to the Boot or Security tab. Find Secure Boot and set it to Enabled. Then find TPM, FTPM, or PTT, depending on your CPU, AMD, or Intel. For Intel, look for PTT and enable it. For AMD, look for FTPM and enable it. Save changes and exit BIOS. After your PC restarts, let's check if these are enabled correctly. Directly. Now, let's confirm that both settings are active in Windows. To check TPM, press Windows plus R, type TPM.msc, and hit Enter. In the TPM window, make sure it says the TPM is ready for use. If it says Not Found, go back to BIOS and recheck the TPM setting. To check Secure Boot, press Windows plus R, type msinfo32, and press Enter. In the System Information window, look for Secure Boot State. It should say On. If it says Off, make sure you saved BIOS settings correctly. If Secure Boot still can't be enabled, it might be because your system is using legacy BIOS mode. To fix this, open System Information again and check BIOS mode. If it says Legacy, you'll need to convert your disk from MBR to GPT. You can easily do this without data loss using the built-in Windows tool. Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Type MBR to GPT slash convert slash allow full OS. After the conversion, restart your PC and enter BIOS. Set boot mode to UEFI, then enable secure boot again. Now, Faceit anti-cheat will detect everything correctly. After enabling TPM, secure boot, and UEFI, restart your computer. Then, open Faceit AC again. The error, your PC requires the following settings to be enabled, should now be gone. If you still get the error, make sure Windows 10 or 11 is fully updated, and reinstall Faceit anti-cheat to refresh its security checks. And that's it. You've successfully fixed the Your PC Requires the Following Settings to be Enabled error in Faceit Anti-Cheat. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss more gaming fix tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.